Now it's 5 4 to yeah. on first. 5 4, yeah. Um, they're White Sox are bound to blow that game. They will. They'll blow it. <laughs> oh, man. I, I hate when the team you're up against is playing an absolute trash bag. That you're chasing. That's just laying you're, down. You're playing a playoff team. They got, they got the trash of the league. Oh, that's the worst. It's like, what the fuck? And the team lays down. Now, yeah. I mean, the White Sox aren't exactly laying down. It's 5 4. Not tonight, they're not laying down. Um, but it, it still just feels like, you know what? What the fuck? It's terrible. Yeah. Anyway, that's the redoubtable one, Thomas J. It's a valid question. Welcome back to IDD. I don't disagree. It's a man up Monday here in the middle of the Olympics. Start a third day, three or four of the Olympics. But we're going to talk baseball. Uh, bend over and just bite the, bite the pillow. Um, they were coming in dry. They were coming in hard. They were And they were relentless. Those teams in the Northeast had a feast. There are some bruised butt cheeks. In some locker rooms tonight. We're gonna need ice baths. Yeah, starting with the with the Mets. Well, no, let's start with the the smallest margin of bum blast was in Boston, Which fourteen to seven. Didn't start out that way, but Did it, it ended up that way. Oh yeah, I mean, well, I mean, still, at one point it was to thirteen to one. I know. Um, so. Right, so it was it wasn't even as close as this, but you yeah. know, two okay. touchdowns, the one touchdown, yeah. Red Sox take out the Mariners. Yeah. They look, they offense, they found their bats, they scored in four consecutive innings. Look, I love the lineup. I love the future looks bright. They gotta find an ace. I look. I like how he's not an ace. He's not an ace. I don't, think, don't, that's, I don't think that's what aces, they're gonna do. Aces don't suck for this long that are young like that. The they problem, have a they have a spell, but they don't. I think like the this. problem is to get an ace right now. They're saying that the 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 cost is maybe it is. Not, I'm not saying they're wrong. You're not to getting not a do value. It. Yeah. I'm not saying they're wrong. I just I can't consider them serious until I know they have that dude. Yeah. They don't have that dude. You know, and they, yeah. you're not winning without. By the way, you name me a team that has won a World Series like without a dude like that. Give me one. Yeah. I can't think of one. So does that one guy? You're like, yep, that dude's an ace. <laughs> like you just know, you just yeah. know. They don't have that dude right now. I don't. It, I don't know it, if they feel like even with an ace, they don't. They don't feel strongly that they win a World Series. But think about what that does for that rotation, which is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's missing one thing. It's missing an ace. The two. They've got good balance. They're young. Yeah. They. they they just don't have the ace. Some teams have a couple. Yeah. But you put, like, if, if Chris Sale was held, like, this year, he around that, oh, God. Yeah. And they but got he, a shitty second baseman for him. Yep. Who they doesn't got, play in the Who doesn't do, doesn't do anything. So. Yep. Yeah, so, you know, I'm I'm glad to see the, the Sox win tonight because – I didn't like the way they lost that series to the Yankees. They should have won Saturday night. Yeah. Oh, you I, jinxed that. I did not. Yes, you did. You what did missed, I say? You said, I'm confident that the guys didn't give one or they will win the game. I know. I know. Why are you I was trying that? Okay. I get why I you was said trying that. To be, I'm just I know. trying to be positive. He, he is the glasses. Ha- I, I will because say Because when you're watching your team and you're getting negative, you do the same thing I for know. me when I'm when I'm watching the I Mets. know, but it's like, like. So I don't appreciate that you then turn me into a jinx. When I'm just trying to be positive for You've you. You've done it so many times. It's I'm just trying to be positive. Do you want me to say next time, go, yeah, they're going to blow it? I would rather you say nothing. Okay. Okay. Don't okay. say anything. All right. We can, we can, Don't say nothing. We can work with that. Yeah. Just say, ooh, look good. <laughs> Cause, say know, it like that, too. But ooh, I was thinking about good. it. I took some notes on this series, okay? Because they should have won that they series. They should have won. They, if that donkey in left field runs through the ball... If they win the game right, right there. But he also hit two bombs, I can. Did you he? You know what I mean? And yes. Yeah, we also cost him the game. I know, but he's in there because he's a fucking. Why is he in left bat. field when he's not supposed to be in left field? He plays left field. He's always out there? Yeah, he's a left fielder. He's a left you fielder. Look like me out there. Yeah, but you, I've you never can't played. hit 20 bombs. I've never hit that. I've never played the wall either. Here's what I didn't like, okay? And this is the this is the first time I've questioned He's played the wall. This is the first time I've questioned Cora. Okay. okay. Even though it wasn't his he's not the reason they lost. No, that kid should have made that play. That That's ball, an easy boom. play. That's not he should have made it. Also, the pitching in that game was atrocious. Oh. And that both sides. Both sides. Both sides. But like, here's what I don't understand. You let Aaron judge in that series go six for ten. With two bombs and seven RBIs. No way you should have. Why? Pitched. Why? You just watched the Mets dismantle the Yankees to him. by not pitching to not him. Not pitching to him. Why? Even, you let him hit a 470-foot three-run bomb? I would have rather would, walked the bases loaded. I would rather walk the bases loaded with one out than pitch to him. And face to or whoever no is behind Whoever him. is behind yeah. him. 
Yeah, because like, the drop and I mean, off. they ended up winning that game. But, they, but it still it kind of set a tone, and he had too much of an impact, in my opinion. He could have just walk his right. ass. Right. You totally neutralize him by yeah. just walking. No reason. Yep. And so. and as you saw when he played the Mets, when they walked him, it frustrated him. Oh, it drove him. The, and then the by the end of the game, when they had to pitch to yeah. him, he wasn't there. Oh, he could get. He could get the bat yeah. off the shoulder all yeah, night. Exactly. So then suddenly you got to take cuts in the ninth inning of a tight game. I don't care who yeah. you. Yeah. So. That that was the only thing I I kind of saw with him, and I was just like, but why? And yeah. then even tonight, you know, he he hit a home run in the first inning against the Phillies. I'm like, why are you pitching to this fucking guy? The guy behind him, Austin Mays, now he, he, had, should, a, he had a big night tonight. He but, should honestly lead the league in walks by the end yes. of the season. Yes. Because nobody should pitch to him. Yeah. Why? What's well, not worth it? It's not worth it at it's all. It's just not worth it. Not you don't have to pitch up. to him. They don't have enough around him. You can pitch around him. Because yeah. Juan Soto is in front of him. Right. You can pitch around him. Yep. And get away with it. I don't know why more teams aren't figuring this out. Yeah. But it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. So he hit he hit he went back to back with Juan Soto. So So By the way, if Soto hits one out, you definitely fucking it, it, That's out. what I'm saying. You don't fucking even entertain <laughs> the thought of that happening. That's what I mean. Yeah. So Soto gets a fucking hanger, that's, boom. That's and then he gets one too? That's Steve Kerr stupid. Jeez. That's something Steve Kerr would do. Makes no sense. Let's throw one down the pipe to this guy. But the other part where he did do great managing was, was it Friday night? Or was it was that the series prior when he pinch hit for Tyler O'Neill? Uh, was, was that Friday night? Yeah. It was huge. Yeah. That, was a, that put him ahead. Exactly. Stand. He brought in a yeah. lefty for yeah. Tyler O'Neill. He told him why. Yep. He told. He pulled and him aside. And then the dude hits the fucking... The guy hits a single, <laughs> yep. scores two. two runs. And then the guy who got pinch hit for is on the bench yeah, cheering like that, for him. Yeah. Like, that was... That was great. That was manager. a master class in that. That's Alex Cora. Yeah. So, so, as much as I don't like the whole judge thing... Well... Some of it could have been on the pitchers. Maybe they were supposed to be throwing balls off the plate. I, I don't think so, though. Because six for ten... I don't know, but I know this, that, that there's no scenario right now where I pitch to him. Mm-hmm. He's too hot. He's hot. I mean, you, you gotta, the only way to cool him off is to walk him yeah. about 15 times in a row. Well, I remember and on just, Saturday when he came up that one time, there was a man on third with one out. Hmm. And they started pitching to him, and I think you were like, I don't like this. No. And then he hits a single. He drives in the run. You could have walked him. Could have walked him. And then maybe the next guy hits a double play. Yeah, you could have walked him. I don't understand it. Why well, give him a um, chance to get that RBI? It's it really it's probably only the first or second time all year I've questioned Cora. Yeah. And again, I don't know that it was Cora, but um, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It just doesn't. And they paid for it. So look, they, they, back tonight. they won tonight. This is the team that's right behind them. They got to beat this team. Um, hopefully, um, you know Chicago doesn't for once blow it or choke because then they'll be tied. <laughs> as bad as a slump they're in, they'd be tied for the wild card. The third um, wild card? Yeah, they'd be tied. Okay. They're only one game back in spite of what's they, – they're three and ten in their last seven, ten games. They're three and seven. So, to be nobody's that Nobody's really played great be- baseball no, in, the, they, in the American no, they, League. Nobody's pulled away. For the past month. Nope. So, you know – Red Sox have been one of the hotter teams. They were until, this, yeah. until the All-Star break. Yeah. So, maybe tonight turns it around. Let's hope. And anyway, shifting to the Mets, who just totally – I mean, <laughs> th- th- this team should sue for rape. Ass rape. I mean, it was just <laughs> my God, what they did to them. That was that was sue for that was ass bring out rape. the gimp type shit. That's what that was. <laughs> that gimp. was oh no. And what? What? Oh no. What? Kansas City just scored six in the eighth. <sighs> it's eight to five. Kansas City. Fucking oh song. man. Oh man. We knew it was too good to be true. Well. Worst I wasn't positive on that one. Worst team in baseball. You said, hopefully, I don't jinx this, but Chicago's winning. I said, they're definitely blowing that game. Well, no, I said I could see them blowing it. They blowing it. They gave six runs, six runs right after we said that. Some of their six. fans were turned away by a little six-run seventh inning oh, that the, the, the Royals dropped on their ass. Yikes, eight to yeah, five. Just, man, you, you, the White sucks. You're just fucking <laughs> terrible. Shit sucks. You guys okay. are playing a team in the hunt. Yeah, they're playing. They're the, playing the they've played them twice stuff. since the All Star break. Well, they had two series. Oh, really? Them. Yeah, they played them to start, and they had them again. Fucking the six. The White times. Sox are twenty-seven and eighty-one. God damn. They're embarrassing. God, they're going to be sixty under. They're embarrassingly bad. Whew. They're worse than the Oakland A's. Do you know how bad you got to be to be worse than the Oakland A's by like ten games, or whatever it is? <laughs> they have a two fifty winning percentage. Ugh. 
It's amazing that to even say that they win one every four games. Or is that? I, yeah, one well, every yeah, four one games. Well, yeah, one out of every four. It seems like less than that. That's embarrassing. One out of every four. Mm. Yikes. You are all-time bad. All-time. You're all-time bad. All right, so back, to the, the Mets, yeah, back to the Mets. Back Mets, to the Mets. The Mets bent over. Who was it? It was the Twins, who were actually a good team. Yeah, they did. The Twins came in tonight. They were two up on the 12, 12 games over Four. 500. Yeah. And the and the NL Central actually looks good. Cleveland's good. Yep. Cleveland's Cleveland won. Over. They won. Yeah, they like Cleveland's a jet. So I, this was a big win to me for the Mets because what happened this weekend, and I hate to sound like a stupid, depressed, angry Mets fan. Too late. And, you know. <laughs> But that's just part of my personality at this point. Part of his charm, America. Yeah. It's part of my lovability. Yep. yep. Depressed, um, angry, bitter. That's right. Tom. Um, <laughs> so, as high as the Mets have ever been, sweeping the two-game series at, at Yankee Stadium, taking the first two from the Braves, won a tight extra inning game, the next an absolute bum a they, they beat dropped, Chris Sale. Where they dropped, they beat Chris Sale beat Chris where they barely Sale. hit. Yeah. Then the next day they come out, Bumathon scores seven in one inning, just unload all over the Braves. Just money shots abound. Yeah, they unload. Semen just Seaman. all over. Oh. Fucking garden hose. I mean, <laughs> just, 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 somebody turned off. Painting the field. I mean, it was an absolute paint fest. Oh my god. Uh, my apologies for it that was, image. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, the the goddamn home run wall was just <laughs> lathered. <laughs> Just it's, it's, dripping. it's the load we all wish we blew. <laughs> that ever, that ever elusive load. <laughs> the ever elusive load. The nut of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> the pinnacle of nuts. Oh, it's terrible. I'm crying. But so so they do that. And, and I mean, they leapfrog the Braves. Yeah. They take the first wild card spot. Okay. And Mets fans are literally acting as if they have unloaded as well. I mean, you would have thought that was a championship load. That's the, that. And it shouldn't have been. Okay. It shouldn't have been. We're not even out of July. There should be no way you have a championship load. Midway through the seasons, but that's our problem. <laughs> that's our problem. You save those loads for the championship. A... Championship load blown. I can think of a few loads. Okay, then like hear me sports, out. That was that was, load. that was a championship load. Was a championship load. Then Saturday. Way comes. too early. Premature Saturday, load. Exactly. Yeah. It, it's a premature eject. Yeah. Textbook. No good. Okay. No good. And. So, Saturday comes around, we get our ace back, Kodai Sanga. Who pitched well. Who's a great pitcher. Yeah. He was our ace last year as a rookie. Just he kidding. was second in the rookie of the oh, year. bad luck. Dude, second in the rookie of the year, okay, yeah. comes back five innings, nine, nine, strikeouts. nine strikeouts. This is this is during the bum Oh, yeah. actually. What? Was this pre bum this was in the Friday night game. Before the Bumathon. It was during the Bumathon. During the Bumathon. So I, 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 I kind of got this out of order because of my state of mind. But <laughs> he got hurt on the Friday night game. So on Saturday, but, uh -huh. but we still won in the Bumathon. Yeah. Saturday we find out Kodai Sanga, Kodai Sanga. After, after Stiflos Mendoza says, oh, it doesn't look too Oh, yeah, serious. you know, we'll see him. Maybe you know, maybe start. maybe he'll miss a few starts. Yeah, right. You know, maybe it's a cramp. Done maybe it's year. a little cramp. Ultimate Sat jinx. Saturday. Yeah. Ultimate jinx. Stiflos can be quite Stiflos the jinx. Stiflos was a jinx. But right Stud there. Muffin is still my Stud, stud Muffin Mendoza. Stud Muffin Mendoza, yeah. They, stud, prove it tonight, they yeah. call him Muffin Mendoza. Yeah, stud Muffin. Now, now, stud Muff. Yeah. Stud Muff. I call Mendoza. him Muffin Mendoza yeah. for short. But, so he comes out. It's a great... You did. You did. I gave him stiff. Stifflos yeah. is still better. I still love Stifflos. Um, <laughs> still better. It's just sad that the better one is the negative I one. find myself saying that at weird times at work, like, oh, no, Stifflos, the loser over there at the coffee thing. <laughs> like, it just comes out now. I can't stand it. Like, no, it's like months ago. Like, yeah. Stifflos like, over who, there. Who, who left that low Stifflos over <clears> there? <throat> the fucking, like, people, like, don't. Okay. <laughs> but look, like so we get that news. Anyway. Kodai Sanga, done for the year. Yeah. Grade three strain. If he comes back, it'll be a miracle. It'll be in the playoffs if yeah. we make it. Mm -hmm. So that's just like such a blow to the fucking vibe 
Then the Mets go out there and they just lay an egg. They do nothing. They don't hit. They don't score. You know, and they get shut out. I don't know what it was. Six, seven, nothing. Yeah. You know, so they come out Sunday. They get blown the fuck out. I don't know what it was. Like nine the Red to, Sox. Nine to two, 11 to yeah. two. Yeah, nine. <clears throat> Alonzo hits a two-run bomb in the ninth to make a it use, nine to two. A useless two-run bomb. And all and all the normal assholes uh, that say he does nothing in crunch time. Well, it wasn't now have time. now have fodder. Yep, of course. Because he hits it. He waits it till it's nine nothing and it's a bomb. I mean, it's not his fault. It's nine nothing, but you know that's baseball. That yeah. shit happens. Yeah. But you know he's not going to give back that two-run bomb. No. But it really just kind of felt like, holy shit, we blew the championship load. What What's going to happen now? Mm. And to see them come out tonight, drop 15 on the Twins, that feels good. It's like, hey. Twins are a good baseball Right. Team. We don't have to act like the sky they, is falling every time we lose you know, two games. Yeah, but this is the thing about we the We lost Mets. two to the Braves. We didn't lose two. The Mets have done this to some damn <clears throat> good teams. Yeah. This isn't the first bent bum blast and they've laid on some <clears throat> good team. The Yankees being one of them. Yeah. They have bent. They laid three have, bum blasts on the Yankees. They have bent some elite company over. High price hopes. They haven't. This is not. <laughs> this is not the skank shift on Wednesday. Top talatush. Yeah, you will. top talatush. <clears throat> this, this ain't the skank shift on Wednesday night. No, 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 no. No, they, they, yeah. Oh, so canceled. So, so canceled. <laughs> <laughs> so canceled we are. Jesus. We got loads all over the field. And the, you started. And the, I know. I it know. was a load. Would you say that was a championship load? Oh, my God. Oh, I mean, it's just down a dark Great hole right load. now. Rate the load. <laughs> but, no, it was, it was good to see that because I think as Met fans, we have such trouble, like, not spiraling because we've seen so often in the past, like, one, two losses can just turn into like, Snowballs. holy fuck, the season's Snowballs. over. And you're like, it's like we that, just lost 10 out of 12? What yeah, the fuck? It's like that guy and the old, you know, you never saw this. I think you were too young, but every Saturday I do ABC's Wide World of Sports. They always go, the thrill of victory and some guy, and they go, the agony of defeat. And it's always this poor skier. <laughs> the rest of his life, he's haunted by this. because it was just the, twisting the and twirling. He's just becoming a bigger snowball, and limbs are flying off, and skis are flying off, and everything but his head is coming off his body. And uh, as he grows into this giant snowball, and it's just <laughs> the agony of defeat. <laughs> Dude. And it's like, the man might have died, and we were laughing at it. Like, it's <laughs> Dude, but I want to bring something up. I, I, I just remembered this. <sighs> Sober me would have started with this, but, you know, we well, get places in different ways. Man up. After we've met, met, met Yoda. It's marijuana. But, man. so, um, there's, there's a bunch of Met fans that I follow on Twitter and that I, you know, leave comments with. And one guy was going live at the beginning of the game. His name's Hector in Washington Heights. Hector? Uh, he's great. I, I love the dude. He's the type of guy that will go on after the game and say whatever the fuck he wants. You'd like him. You go, what the fuck? He's in the moment. Yes. He's literally yes. in the moment. Yes, yep. and he'll come back yep. on the next day. Which go, is fine. And he'll come on, the, and he's high usually. Oh, I, I like him already. Because his hashtag is blunt thoughts. Should be high Hector. Well, no, it's blunt thoughts because he's smoking blunts and then sharing That's his wonderful. thoughts. So, so, you know, he'll come That's on and just. That's catchy. It is. Like it's really good. And, and, he, and he knows. Like, he knows baseball. Um, but, you know, we were talking. He, he had a space tonight, so I went in there and made some comments. But because I was talking about, like, when they started this season, I wanted a lot of these one-year pieces that they picked up yeah. to have good years. And at the trade deadline, they could, they could trade them and get stuff for them. Yeah. Because they're just one-year pieces helping yeah. bridge the gap sure. for us. Yeah. Right? But now that they're actually in it, you're like, what could they really get what from these they, guys? Yeah. Like, I mean, is it is it worth it to trade Severino to get a mid-level prospect and worsen this team as opposed to keep Severino, maybe give away some mid-level prospects yourself mm. to get some talent and see if you can win this year, you know? But I guess the thing I and, – and the guy Hector is always like, I don't give a fuck about the future. I want a fucking ring. If we're in it this year, go for the ring. I don't give a shit about next year. But my thing is like, and this is where the question comes in, and I think you'll have a good take on this. Would you rather 20 years of consistency, always being in it, 
you know, always having a chance. Maybe not, maybe not, you know, NL Championship Series every year, not World Series, you know, but you're always in it for 20 years. You don't get a ring. Or, or you know, once every seven years, you have a shot at it. And maybe you get one ring over 50 years. That's an interesting question. Or I guess you have to say it over 20 years. Um, maybe you say twice in 20 years you have a shot at it, you win one ring. What would you prefer? Well, the thing about... The thing about... And again, my my take on this is actually I, I've lived this. But the, the Bruins have been this way forever. Um, they finally got one. But in my 51 years, the Bruins, the Bruins have the longest running record in all of sports. They made the playoffs 29 years in a row. They, no team in any sport has done that. And think about that. Think about in, that in that 29, they have one? They didn't win one. Yowzers. They won one. Were you alive for all of that? No, I'd say over half of it. You were rooting for over half of it. Yeah. Okay. And... And they got to the they got close they got to the Stanley Cup twice they ran into Wayne Gretzky, and they ran into Super Mario. So look who beat them. These guys are icons. Mm-hmm. So there's no shame in that. But they had an all time great in Ray Bork, who after 20 years had to go somewhere else to get a ring, which still to this day mm, is hurts. the thorn in Boston side. We're is still his mad name at Ray Thorn. No, it's our thorn as fans because we will never give we'll never forget uh, the Bruins. What was his name? Ray Bork. Oh, Bork. Arguably the second greatest hockey defenseman ever behind Bobby Orr. He won that stupid Norris Trophy like eight or nine or ten times, whatever it was. <clears throat> he had the fastest slap shot in the game for a long time. All right, but, but he never won a cup in Boston. But having experienced that, what, what do you think? I'd rather win one. I'd rather win one. I'd rather win one. Because the banner, once you get that banner, <laughs> well, and you that's, can't take and, it down. And that's, what I, and that's what I told him. I said, well, look, if the consistency doesn't come with a ring, Fuck the consistency. Fuck the consistency. And yeah, I, I, I agree with but this I, guy. But I feel like... Because the Mets haven't won one since 86. But they haven't been consistent at all. That's my point. You've gotten neither. Right. But so you, my thing is, I think if they built an organization that that ran efficiently in terms of, you know, talent, in terms of bringing in the right talent, developing the right talent, and fielding the right talent... I think the consistency would bring a championship. Sure, it might not be six or seven, but if we if you were consistent over twenty years, you're probably going to get one or two. You should get at least two, one a decade. Right. The Patriots got six. That's insanity. The Patriots should have gotten nine. <laughs> for being honest, the three games they lost were unbelievably ridiculous. So they could have won all three of them. Yeah. So I mean, the they won is, a couple of ridiculous ones too, though. But that's just who they are. Yeah. So the thing about them is, you know, I live that. So um, we know. the thing is, if I'm a Mets fan and he was four when they last won the World Series, no, I want to win a World Series. I'm not waiting another fucking 30 years to see one. But if they are consistent for 20 years and they win two, I, that's great. I yeah. take that. Yeah. I just I, – Because baseball is really hard to win. Yeah. It's really hard to win. I yeah. would argue it's the hardest of the four. Because hmm. I would argue it's the hardest. It's that, and, and it's hockey, that hockey. Why? Hockey, the eighth seed wins a lot. It's hard to win. Do you realize that the last 11 years, the team that wins that stupid President's Cup, whatever it is, for the best record in the, in the yeah, NHL, really it hasn't won the Stanley Cup. It's 11 years in a row now. Mm-hmm. That it's Baseball and hockey are the two hardest sports to win. So you, you define hardest to win as a sport where more teams have a chance kind of thing? There's just... Because that's kind of what you're saying. Like, the thing about in football, hockey, typically the best team will win. The is that what you're about, saying? No, football is very hard to win because it's one and done. And you have one off to see. The thing about, here's where football is but that's harder. That's what I'm saying. Why are you saying baseball is the, the hardest? Because there are, it's, it's harder in this regard. There are so many ways you can lose. There are so many things that you cannot control in the game of baseball that could just go the other way and derail you, and you can't control a lot of them. I'd say of the four sports, it's the least control you have. That's why it's so damn hard. Well, also, but you have four out of seven, so you still can fix yeah. that. But but also, it's it, it's the one where like you fail the most. Yeah, like, and it's not even close. But, but things can happen in baseball that just don't jive with the numbers. 
And it's yeah. not your fault. I mean, mm. it's just like, it just, it happens. Like normally. Pitcher has a bad day. Yeah. Like guy the, goes the, into yeah, a slump. The guy, the, the, the guy comes out, he's 19 and one. He's got an ERA of one five and he gives up seven runs. When he hadn't done that, he didn't give seven runs in two months. Mm. I mean, like shit like that can happen. It's just, because he could run into a lineup that's on mm. fire. Because you don't, this is the thing, you don't know. Like, or the pitching can be great and you have the number one offense and they, they have three hits. Like, like, what the fuck? Or an error, like a really fucked up error happens. Like, it's a, you know, things like that. Yeah. Or the ball takes a fucked up weird bounce. Like, I mean. Yeah, so I guess my, so, th- my thought is this. Look, I do, want, I do want a consistent organization. Sure. So I think, I think whatever this guy Stearns decides to do will probably be a good decision. I think he knows how to manage an organization. He led the Brewers for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they didn't really win shit, but that was a smaller market team that was typically in contention. Mm -hmm. And didn't have the the, And didn't have the means that 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 these guys have. So I think he knows what the fuck he's doing. Yeah. I hope. And now he's got no one that'll spend. Right. And I think he's found his manager, which is big. Not you know It is big. Obviously you can I think you can win without a freaking great manager, but it certainly doesn't hurt. It it helps doesn't when you hurt. have a guy that knows what's going on. Yes. So, and I, I mean, think this guy does. So, so hopefully, look, I think I'm going to be happy either way tomorrow, because tomorrow's a trade deadline. I know. So, you know, if the Mets, if the Mets, they need a starter. With 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 Sanga going down, they need a starter. Christian Scott, their rookie who was pitching, he went down with a UCL sprain. They lost two starters in the past week, week and a half. So they need to, they need a starter. Yeah. And I think you go out there, you get a starter, kind of like what the Red Sox did with Paxson. I don't expect them to get an ace. Because apparently to get an ace right now, you actually have to give up they can't, your I legitimate would, farm. I would not give up. Well, it depends. How old is this guy you're talking about? Who? The guy from Detroit. Detroit? Yeah. How old is he? Let me look him up. Because, well, I don't like the idea of giving up the farm. It's hard to find an ace. And if this guy's below the age of 27, and I don't know that he is, well, I don't want to talk to Chuck. If he's below the age of 27, that's not a bad trade. Tariq Scooble. He's 27. He's exactly 27. <laughs> he's 6'3. Uh huh. He's a lefty? He's a lefty. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, okay, so this year, listen mm-hmm. to this. He's pitched 21 games. Mm-hmm. He's 12 and three with a 2.35 ERA on that team. He's got a WHIP under one, so that means less than one person gets on base every inning. He's got 130 innings pitched and 154 strikeouts. So he's over a strikeout an inning. You know, that's, that's I'm pretty saying, nice. I'm saying that. Now, now, this is the best he's ever been in his career. But he's peaking. He's starting to go up. He's ascending. Maybe. Maybe. He's only 27. He's not 29 or 30. He's 27. Yeah, but he's got 509 innings pitched in the league. Isn't an incredibly, you know, incredible amount of innings, but, I mean... It's weird because he's been in the league. If like, I'm the Red Sox, if they haven't made that call just to see what it would take, I would. You got to at least make the call. Yeah. You got to make the call, right? If nothing else, just kick the tires on it. Say, all right, what, what, what if you were to give him up? What would you want? Maybe, just to maybe see what he is say. peaking. I mean, because when you look at his career numbers in 2020, he had a 5.63 ERA. That was his rookie year, it appears. Rookie year. Okay. You, you know, that's a learning year. It's a rookie year. Uh, yeah. He didn't pitch that many games. Paid Manning through 28 picks right. rookie year. Period. He, he started seven games, okay? So mm-hmm. not a lot. Yeah. 2021, he started 29 games. Zero rate went from 5.63 the year before to 4.34. So that's an improvement. That's a, over a, a run, isn't that's it? That's right. Yeah. Um, then 2022, he started 21 games. His ERA came down from 4.34 to 3.52. That's a jump, too. That's a big jump. Or, you know. Almost as big as the previous jump. Yes. Then yeah. 2023, last year, he started 15 games. So I'm not sure. Must have got hurt. Injuries or what. 
but he posted a 2.8 ERA. Think about that. And then this year, he's already started 21 games, and he's got a 2.35 ERA. 12 and 3. With that team. With that team. He probably should be. If I am the Red Sox. He probably should have like 16 wins. If I am the Red Sox, I am picking up the phone. If they haven't already. Because honestly, that dude is worth giving up a lot for. Because they're hard to find. And I Mm -hmm. think the Red Sox have a good staff. And if you throw him in the middle of it, they become dangerous. Because it just takes one guy to bump everyone down one spot. (laughs) And it can drastically change a pitching staff. And they have a pretty good pitching staff. They just don't have that dude. And he is that dude. You said the Orioles and the Dodgers are looking at him. Dear God. If if that's true, I will will probably kill John Henry myself. Because he's got way more money to spend than those two do. They've been spending on everything. If he has to go get that guy who's 27... Then fuck him. <laughs> Just fuck him in the ass with a gun. So three hours ago, they're starting to post, um, and I don't know how credible these are, but they're they're saying that the Tigers are saying there's no way we'll trade him. Depends on what you offer. <laughs> maybe they're trying to maybe they're trying to get somebody to do, to offer the house tomorrow. This is a game. You have until 6 this PM. is this is a game going on right now. There's no way we'll trade him. Is that right? Oh, let's see what they say about this. And they go, sold! <laughs> you never It'd be know. nice to pick up an ace. I'm saying the Red Sox don't have one. And he would make them legit. He would. Because I like the rest of the, the pitching staff. They just need that one dude. They need that dude. So, we'll see what they do. The Brewers got a pitcher. Mm-hmm. Frankie Montas. He's not an ace. No, we need an ace. We need a good guy. We need, we need a guy, a, shot, guy, a stopper. That dude... <laughs> Did you see there's a guy in the White Sox that people covet? His name's Crochet. Um, Chicago? Yeah. Um, that that people want. Um, but apparently, he put it out there that if he's traded, he wants a reworking of his contract or he won't guarantee that he'll pitch in the playoffs. What's his, what, what are his numbers? How um, good is he? Let's see. Because to me, at the end of the day, it's about, all right, what are your numbers? Because you better have fucking numbers to talk like that. <laughs> you better be a fucking, so, um, you better be below three in the ERA, and you better have a fucking whip of like one. And yeah. Let's see. You better throw 98 or <laughs> something. God, why are these stats so goddamn shitty? Okay, 2024. He has six wins, eight losses. He's got a 3.23 ERA. His whip is 1.01, so one one base runner per inning. Uh, 160 Ks and 114 innings. Wow. That's a lot of strikeouts in 114 innings. Yeah, I mean, he's on a bad team, too. 26 walks, which... 160 strikeouts to 26 walks. That's pretty good. That's beyond pretty good. <laughs> That's damn good. Um, uh, so 6.2 Ks per walk. I'll take that any further. I day. think most managers would take that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that'd be a nice arm. Yeah, Red Sox have a better lineup. So. And yeah. you probably wouldn't have to give as much. the farm. But, but he's How like, old is he? Uh, what is he? He's 25. He's younger. Now there's another one. Hmm. So he's the one. Pick he, up he's the, the phone. one saying, "I want, I want a contract." If you want me to play in the, maybe, maybe he's only under contract until the end of this year. Pick up the phone. You've got the money. For either one. You've got the money and potentially the resources. You should have picked up the phone twice already. And you have till six p.m. tomorrow to do it. So one of those guys you should you should get. You Just, don't get either of them. That's bullshit. The men. You should get one of them. They should get one of them. You think so? Yep. The Red Sox don't get either of them. That's bullshit. With the money they have to spend. Yeah. And they're both young. Uh, that they need a, They need an arm. That's what they need. That's what's missing. Yeah. And there's I mean, two those, of them those, right there. Those guys could really help the team. Could really help them. That lineup. Oh my God. Well, that would do that pitching staff. And they, they, so they and they have the means to get either one of them. So if they don't get either one tomorrow, I, I consider it a failure. 
because both those guys are worth giving up. That's why you have a farm system to give it up for something like that. Because yeah. that's what you need. You have a farm system to get the one thing you need that makes you a contender. And these guys are both young. That's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. So. We'll see if they got what it takes to we'll get see. it. If, they, if 6 o'clock tomorrow passes and not, neither one of them is in a Red Sox uniform, fail. Epic fail. <laughs> Epic fail. Dude, the Knicks traded for a lefty bat, Jesse Winker. You mean the Mets? You, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> The Knicks the are Mets. looking for a lefty bat yep, to play. The Knicks, the Knicks are bringing to play goalie. And <laughs> he's going to protect the rim, if you know what I mean. To play goalie. Dude, but this guy, Jesse Winker, was like, he was a villain at, in City Field. Who? He, he, whenever he came, he came with the Reds, he came with the Mariners, and he would fuck with the fans. But he, like, he enjoyed it. And then, like, after, after COVID, because there was a couple times, like, he made a sliding catch by the wall. To end the game. Oh no! And, and then he, what he did? He slid in and he went. <laughs> and he waved to the fan. Like I hated this fucking guy. I uh, hated it. Um, you know. And then he's had some big hits. He's had some big hits against us. But it was cool because after COVID, you know, because fans weren't allowed in stadiums for a yeah while. for a while. Yeah. So after COVID, when the fans came back, when he came back to. Um, <laughs> To City Field, mm. I think he, there was a guy who had famously called him an asshole or did something. He like created a logo about him, yeah. And like Winker sent him a DM and said he thought it was hilarious. He said most guys, most guys send me messages and tell me to take it down. That you know, yeah, talk shit. Else. He goes, this guy said it's hilarious. When he came back, I think he might have found that fan. He threw a ball up to him. That's awesome. That, or maybe it was just a random fan, and on it said, "Really good to have you guys back in the stadium." Yeah, like he threw it up to that's Mets. That's actually fans. really yeah. cool. So now he's coming to the Mets mm-hmm. as as a lefty bat because they've got a guy that's been on the bench, JD Stewart, that has done nothing all all year. Karma, uh, baby. DJ Stewart, sorry. Um, so they 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 sent him down. They brought in Winker. He was on the Nationals this year. Um, so they were better. They were better than last year. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully. Uh, Hopefully Jesse Winker helps them, but they need a starter. They need at least – they need one starter. I don't know. Maybe they get another bullpen arm. Hmm. A guy they traded for last week, <laughs> he came in. <laughs> oh, no. He gave up home run, hit by pitch, home run. <laughs> in that bum thon by the Braves? Pulled a rob oh, upper deck back. He came in first appearance. Now, it was mop-up duty anyway. I think it was 7 nothing or 6 nothing, whatever it was. Oh, man. But I, I pull up. I pull up Twitter and somebody goes, "Oh, well, that's a great first impression." <laughs> and and, and I was like, "No, he didn't play, Dude, did he?" Oh man! The fans. The what I love about ruthless. what I love about fans is that they're ruthless. And, he, and when they are and when they are miserable, mm-hmm. they will make you the butt end of every fucking joke because you're their misery. Ugh. And the Red Sox fans are second to none in this. Ruthless. I remember when Rob Beck came in and they said he started to suck. They gave him the name Rob Upper Deck. Back. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the greatest Upper Deck. fuck you nicknames. <laughs> oh no, it's Upper Deck Beck. <laughs> that is a good nickname. <laughs> and by the way, every fucking time that bastard came in his last year, at least one of them. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Rob Upper Deck, man. Jeez, look at this. We live in fear of him. Look at this line for this guy. This is his first inning pitch for the Mets. Wait, who is this? Stanek. This Stanek. is the guy they just traded for for oh. the, bull, the bolster of the bullpen. Stanek. We're gonna give him a funny name. He pitched one inning, gave up two hits, three runs, <laughs> and two home runs. Yikes! And a hit by pitch. What's his last name? Stanek. Rob, fresh off the Titanic, Stanek. Mm. <laughs> there it is. It's time to panic, Stanek. <laughs> it's time to panic. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, he's going to throw the season in the, in the Atlantic, Stanek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All of those are going to stick, by the way. <laughs> Every time he fucks up, yeah. Tom's going to bring it up. <laughs> Danny. No, but I mean, but I don't want to be like that to the guy. Look, he just came to a new team. so It's only happened once, right. right? He had a bad outing. Right. But, and, and also. He strings three or four of these together, though. <laughs> you know what? They were, they were talking about the strategy. <clears throat> the strategy of the Mets has been go after guys that have, like, 
stuff. They might have issues with like control and things like that, mm. but they have nasty fucking stuff mm-hmm. for the for the bullpen. So sure. sometimes that doesn't work out because when a guy comes in for the bullpen and his first pitch is always str- uh, ball one, mm. and then he puts a guy like that's the worst recipe. Mm. But if they can harness them and work with them yeah. and get them to show, throw strikes with the shit they have, they mm. can be effective pitchers. So I kind of like that strategy. Okay. Because with bullpen arms, even the good ones, I feel like you give a lot of money to, and you just don't know from season to season what you're going to get. Hmm. That's not a trade, is it? No. Last minute trade deadline intel will bust what Buster only and Jeff Passan are hearing. What are they hearing? Um, the Brewers added Montas. You said that already. Yeah. Um, that's only the only thing that they say about baseball, at least right now. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything crazy either. Yeah, I don't see it. Um, um, Casey came back to win those fuckers. Um, <laughs> Gave up a grand slam in the eighth. Chicago shit socks. Fucking terrible. Anyway, that's going to do it for our show tonight. Um, we will return on Wednesday night. We will give you the Olympic updates. USA is, men's team is playing on Wednesday. We'll see where Jason Tatum, how much minutes he gets then. Um, and we will also <laughs> update you on the Mets and the Red Sox, um, and all the we'll give you the medal standings too on Wednesday updated standings. So until then, from the Delaware and Thomas J is a high question. Andre Machado, you guys take them back Tuesday. Wet my whistle Wednesday. Let's get her done. We'll see you in about forty eight hours. Let's until then, boys done. and girls. If you're gonna say get her done, you gotta say get her done. Get her done. Get her done, man. man. Get her.